Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. It's four o'clock, four o'clock, four o'clock. Thank you, four Mr. O'clock. Crow. That's quite enough. And what have we got here then? Oh, snakes and ladders. I, you can't beat me now, Judge. You're you're too far behind. All I need is one, two, three, four, five to win. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, O'Brien. You're counting your chickens before they're hatched. <laughs> Here we go. Snakes alive, snakes alive. All I need is five. Ah. Oh, three. Oh. Not enough. A hen, though, a tree. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> All the way down to the huge big snake. <laughs> Nearly back to the very beginning. I told you you were counting your chickens before they were hatched. Oh, big old, horrid old snake. He was waiting there to trap me, just like Sneaky Snake used to do. Do you remember Sneaky Snake? Do I remember Sneaky Snake? Of course I do. He was a real snake in the grass. He certainly was a real rotten egg. He was always plotting against us. Oh, well, he's not here to plot against us anymore. I wonder where he is. I wonder... If he's still a secret agent. I wonder if he's still as sneaky as he used to be. I wonder. <laughs> Tis off time going a wandering, mein knapsack on mein back. And when I'm going a wandering, I'm going to belly heck. Well, do we? Sneaky snake! Sneaky snake! Sneaky snake! You lousy sneak! You lazy snook! You lazy sneaky snake! Where are you? Come here at once! At once, I say! You sent her me, master? Sneaky snake, your special agent at your service, sir. Yes, sir. One moment, please. Back in your box for a moment. Yeah, well. I, the great Dr. Astro, am cooking. <laughs> But why does she not taken? Why does she not taken? Mm. I must consult in my bookery cook. What's your worship cooking? Smells nice. My worship is cooking custard for my new baby. <laughs> my new... Your new baby, master. My new baby. My latest and greatest invention. My new Super Mark 92 time travelling machine. <laughs> She runs on runny custard. <laughs> Soon she will be finished, and then I, the great Dr. Astro, will be able to go on my travels. I will be able to travel any time, anywhere, any place, and everywhere I am going, I will be the greatest. There will be nobody who is greater than me. I will be the wisest, the bravest, the strongest man in any time, in any age, in any place. <laughs> and everybody must agree with me when I say so. No laughing. Anybody who is laughing... Finish! Kaput! Fifth! And you will sing to it! Duh, of course, master. That's you, Judge. Climbing up ladders and slithering down snakes. I'm, I'm bored playing snakes and ladders. It could go on for ages. That's because you know I'll win now. That's right, Judge. O'Brien never likes to lose. Oh, well, it could go on for hours, Godmother. Listen, Godmother, w- w- will you read us a story? Well, perhaps Judge would like to go on playing. I don't mind, Godmother. I'd like you to read a story. Oh, so would I. Read one from the book about Finn McCool. All right. Let's see. Here we are. Which one would you like? Oh, read us the one about... Finn McCool and the Knight of the Full Axe. That shows how, how strong Finn is. Oh, we've had that lots of times, O'Brien. Let's have Finn McCool and Conan MacLear because that shows how brave he is. No, read us the one about Finn McCool and the Salmon of Knowledge. I like that one because it shows how wise Finn is. Oh, I see. You all want a different one. Well, I can't do that. Isn't it strange, though? In all the stories about Finn, how wise and strong and brave he is. Yeah, Finn is a real champion, strong as a wolfhound, 
brave as a sheepdog, wise and sober as a judge. <laughs> mm, strong and brave and wise, yes, but not as handsome or as beautiful, surely, as a certain crow I know. Oh, would you listen to the parrot? You think Judge was a lion? <laughs> Oh, no, no, you watch it, you peer around, or I, 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 I'll bark, so I will. Oh, leave them alone, Judge. Take no notice. They're just jealous. Jealous? Of you? Oh. If you two rouse me, I'll... I'll... I'll, 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 I'll Look at here, will you keep quiet? There's too much noise in the wagon. I'm going to take my book and go outside and, and read quietly about Finn McCool and his son, Oshin. Right. Are you coming, come? Mother? Yes, I will. Are you coming, Judge? Are you coming, Squirt? Sorry, Squirt. I didn't mean to be cross. Oh, sorry, Judge. Are you coming, Mr. Crow? Sorry, Mr. Crow. We were only joking. We really don't think you're a silly peacock. Uh, it's all right. I'll be out in a minute. I just have to get my reading glasses. Ah, I am so annoyed. My custard for my time traveling machine. She is lumpy. How can a proper time traveling machine run on lumpy custard? First she is too thin, or now she is too fat. No, I mean too sick. Oh, is there anybody in the whole world who knows how to make proper custard? Ah! <laughs> I am crying with rage. <laughs> there was my Frankenschnitt. <clears throat> That's better. Now. I'm trying one more time to make the proper runny custard. <clears throat> now, get yourself together, Astro. Okay. <clears throat> so, first we are having, yeah, two tablespoonful green milk. Ach so. And a little bit for the cake, yeah. And now we are having a polythene bag, half of brown dyed sugar. Ach so. Sehr gut. And now, <laughs> the most important, enough to make one liter blue runny custard powder. <laughs> ah, boy. We are stirring in. <laughs> and now, I am waiting. And while I am waiting, I am watching my favorite cowboy movies on my electrostatic washing machine. Jawohl! Is that simple? I am making it for myself. <laughs> you are just turning the button, and up come your favorite cowboy movie. <laughs> but what is this? That's not the vile best. Don't forget to put out the bins. There must be something better in my memory bank. Ah, <sighs> oh, yeah, good old Hans. <laughs> Don't forget to vacuum the cat. Nine, nine, I must tie another program. Ah, this I am liking, and I'm dropping my spoon. Yeah, down and blitz him, but this I am liking. Always I am liking the cowboy pictures. Roll along, covered wagon, shoot him, cowboy. Bank, bank, bank. <laughs> Always I am liking the covered wagons. I would like to go to the Wild West. <laughs> I must turn the wagon! Ah, but mine cast it. <laughs> she is ready, and she is horny. <laughs> she is running all around the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> so good. Now I'm putting in my super time traveling machine, yeah? Like so. <laughs> She's pouring in very beautiful, yeah. Now, there is mine popcorn. Yeah, putting in a little popcorn, yeah? <laughs> and mine spoon. <laughs> it's good. And now to measure with the teaspoons. Where are the teaspoons? Yeah. This is my map of the world. <laughs> we are pulling like that. Now we must measure a hen, a zoo, a three. Ach so. A hen, a doe, a three. Ach so. Very good. So much for the time. Now for the place. Now let me see. One egg timer for every 200 years, so now I must be very careful because I am going to connect to get the power, yeah? Good, good, good. Now, 
This I must be very careful because I'm turning the knobs. Yeah? This knob for the future, and this knob for the past. Now, one egg timer to the left by three teaspoons to the best. <laughs> ah, Donna von Blitzen. And now the time she is ready, <laughs> she has come. When I, the great Dr. Astro, will be going off on my travels. Away. <laughs> but how can I travel without my traveling cloak? Away! <laughs> Don't turn the page yet, O'Brien. I'm not finished. Oh, go and eat worms, Mr. Crow, and leave me to read me book in peace. What's that? Godmother, Judge, he eats a fireball. What's the matter, O'Brien? Oh, Squirrel! Squirrel! Look! Look at the funny man! Oh, yes, Squirrel. He's a goblin. <laughs> He's a queer class of goblin, if you ask me. Oh, look! Oh, look! There's a strange man. Uh, bark, somebody, quick. Well, what's this, fair am I? This is not a vile vest. There's a wagon, but it's not a real covered cowboy wagon. Ah! It is ein vulture. It is not a vulture, Mr. Whoever you are. It's a crow, an ordinary, beautiful crow. And there's no call to be past remarkable about our wagon either. And there are no Indians chasing you? Huh? Uh, no. And your wagon? She is not a real covered cowboy wagon? No. And you are not talking tough like the American cowpokes? I should hope not. Look, I don't know who you are, but I am the godmother. This is O'Brien. That is Mr. Crow. Those are the squirrels, and that is Judge. And this is Wanderly Wagon. How do you do? How do you don't? I am the great Dr. Astro, the great time traveller. Doctor Who? Nein, Dr. Astro. Doctor Who is BBC, Dr. Astro is RTE. I am travelling through time and space. I am looking for the vile vest. But I am not finding the vile vest. I find a wagon, but it's not a proper covered cowboy wagon. There is something wrong with my custard injection system. It is not working properly. There is some mistake. You, you mean you really came here by time traveller machine? And does, does your machine take you anywhere you want to go in time? Yeah, yeah, boy. Any time, anywhere, any place. <laughs> it is so wonderful that I'm making a song and a dance about it. I am singing it for you now. Oh, <laughs> I can fly to the year 2001. For me, it's quite simple, as easy as fun. I can visit the castle of Tutankhamun. Or land with the very first man on the moon For distance means nothing but ever to me It's as quick to Japan as to Tadamagi <laughs> I can be wherever I want to be In my wonderful time machine He can be wherever he wants to be In his wonderful time machine I can be able to call on Brian Burrow and visit the king of the Martians too. I can travel to meet Dick Fittington's cat or see someone making Napoleon's hat. I just press the button and I him my way. Better back to the past or to some future day. <laughs> I can be wherever I want to be in my wonderful time machine. He can be wherever he wants to be In his wonderful time machine I can watch while the little boy Blue is asleep Or run after lambs for the little Bo Peep Have lunch in the year 3003 And be forever I want to be The past just the future's the same to me I can visit whoever I want to see <laughs> I want to be in my wonderful time machine. He I can be wherever I want to be in my wonderful time machine. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, did you in 
invent this thing all by yourself? You're very clever. But of course I am clever. I'm the great Dr. Estro, the inventor of the flying table on the submarine chair. The flying table, she is flying up, up, up into the sky. On the submarine chair, she is flying way down to the bottom of the sea. That's nothing to boast about. Our wagon flies up in the air, and it goes underwater as well. Mm. Oh, yes, that's right, Mr. Astro. Can your submarine chair fly, huh? Can your flying table go under the water, huh? Bah! They are not doing these things because I, as a great Dr. Asco, I'm not wanting them to do these things. <laughs> if I am wanting them to do these things, they can do it. Can your wagon cut grass? Well, of course it can't cut grass. But I, as a great Dr. Astro, am inventing the self-cutting grass. Who on earth would want self-cutting grass? Yes. Everybody is wanting the self-cutting grass. Consider, it is a lovely fine evening. You are sitting when you want to read your book in the sunshine. On the birds, they are going tweet, 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 or whatever the birds are doing on a fine evening. But you can't read your book because you want to cut the grass. You want this? Uh, no, not really. So you are wanting my self-cutting grass. <laughs> she cuts <laughs> herself. How does it work? Well, it's very simple, really. It is programmed by a special formula to consume less than its growth requirement, whereby it maintains its moisture content and color consistency in direct ratio to its root extraction. <laughs> you understand? Uh, no. But it is my most imaginative invention. What I want to know is, did he invent the grass or did he invent the story? <laughs> <laughs> You are daring to question my invention? I, the great Dr. Astro, the greatest man who ever was or who ever will be. I am the greatest, the bravest, the strongest man who ever lived. Oh, oh no, there, there's one who is braver and stronger than you. You what? You who? You, what did you say? You dare to only. think? You know someone who can outdo the great Dr. Astro? Nein, I... there is no one who can outdo the great Dr. Astro. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, no, there's not. Don't argue with him, O'Brien. He's rather strange. There is one. Ah! One only. And who is this Schweinhorn? We are thinking is viver, wiser and braver and stronger than the great Dr. Astro, who was wise and braver, strong enough to fly from the dawn of time down to the present day. Name him, and we will see. His name is uh, Finn McCool. Finn McQuart? Finn McCool. Finn McCool. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me, because I am finding this Finn. And when I find him, I am cooling his Finn cooler than the ice. There must be nobody in the whole wide world who is greater than the great Dr. Astro. He shall die. And now I must go, but I shall return. Oh, oh Godmother. I don't like the sound of that. Neither do I. I don't think O'Brien should have mentioned Finn. But there is no hero greater than Finn McCool. Yes, but I think we ought to try and find Finn and warn him. But we don't know where to find him. Oh, that's right, Mr. Crow. None of the stories say anything about where he is now. All we have to do is to find someone on the way and, and, and try and get a clue. Well, we'd better leave before it gets dark. I'll harness up the horse. All right. You, wash the dishes. Squirrels, you do the polishing. Aye, and, aye. Hey, hey, you, judge, stand guard. Get to work, everyone. We must find Finn. <laughs> but why am I arriving like this? There must be something wrong with my custard powder injection system. Yeah, I will have to see what it is, Donna and Blitz. And, oh, oh. I think perhaps it is the stabilizers. It must be the stabilizers, yeah. Perhaps a little self raising flower. They are needing adjustment, yeah, boy. They are good. And now to adjust the left stabilizer so that it is right, while remaining on the left of the right stabilizer, which must remain on the right of the left stabilizer. And now, a little more. Now I must. Ah! Oh, Dano and Blitzen! Now the stabilizers fill up over adjusted. Oh, what am I gonna do now? The right stabilizer, instead of being on the right of the left stabilizer, will be on the left of the left stabilizer. Find that. Ah! Enough of this! But first. 
to liquidate this Finn McCool. <laughs> hello, hello. Send in Special Agent Double O Sneaky right away. Right away, I said. You said for me, master? <laughs> How many times do I have to remind you that you are a snake in the grass, not a jerk in the box? You are supposed to frighten my enemies, not me. Huh? I'm sorry, master. It's just little old me doing my best to be speedy in your service. <laughs> Silly sausage. Oh, very well. I have uh, an assignment for you. <laughs> I'm contact. Yes, master. Somewhere in the land of stories is ein contraption called Wanderly Wagon. And what? I... Wanderly Wagon? <laughs> Oh, no, master. Not them again. How they have made me suffer in the past. I couldn't stand it. No, no, please. Send me to a raging fire. Send me to a raging flood. Send me to the bottom of the sea. But please, please, don't send me to Wanderly Wagon. Get a grip on yourself. Are you a professional hit snake, aren't you? Oh, uh, uh, I am the master. Of course. Okay. But what are your orders? You promise to do what I say? Huh? Uh, he, uh, I promise, Master. All right. I want you to find this O'Brien and this godmother and their wonderly wagon and their absurd menagerie. And I want you to get them to lead you to Finn McCool. And when they do, I want you to make them all disappear. <laughs> Is that understood? Huh? Yes, Master. I make Finn and the Wanderlys all no. disappear. Anything else? No, that is all for the moment. But you will report back to me regularly on your progress. Yes, Master. Then I'll slither off for now. So long. And this time, no cock-ups! So, I found it at last. Wanderly Wagon. Won't they be surprised when they find their old friend Sneaky Snake is on their trail once more? <laughs> Somebody's coming. I must hide. <laughs> Real peaceful night. Is everything all right, O'Brien? Oh, yes, Godmother. It's a peaceful night. It's funny. I could have sworn I heard a sound somewhere. Oh, it must be your imagination, Godmother. Mm. It's really peaceful. Well, peaceful, is it? <laughs> Just wait till I think up one of my wicked schemes. Then we'll see how peaceful it is. I'll make them sorry they ever came up against Special Agent 00 Sneaky Snake. <laughs> Will the Wonderlies get to Finn McCool in time? Will the evil Dr. Astro make Finn and the Wonderlies all disappear? Don't forget to tune in next week. To Wonderly Wagon! Oh, I could have sworn I heard something. Stories so far. The Wanderleys are searching for Finn McCool.
to warn him that the mad time traveler, Dr. Astro, is out to get him. But they do not know that they are constantly being watched by Dr. Astro, and that they are constantly being followed by Astro's special agent, Sneaky Snake. Can you see anything, O'Brien? No, Godmother. We can't either. Can we, Squirrel? Nobody coming, nobody going. It's very peculiar. That's right, Godmother. We've gone for miles without even seeing a, a sheep dog. We haven't even seen a blackbird or a wagtail. It's as if we had come to the end of the world. Well, if we're going to go on like this, we might as well go home. We're going in all forwards and backwards. We don't even know which direction we're going in. We'll never find Finn like this. Hang on a moment, Cod Mother. Some, something's coming now. What sort of something? It's very hard to see. There's a light all round it. Oh, it's a man on a strange bicycle. Quick, O'Brien, pull up. Ask him where we can find Finn. Whoa there, Porrick, whoa! Here he comes! Here he comes. Watch out! Whoa, out of my way! Whoa, out of my way! I can't oh, put my foot on the ground. Oh, 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 What's all this nonsense about not putting your foot on the ground? It's true. I was nearly done for altogether. If I put my foot on the ground, I'll grow very old. We all have to grow old sooner or later. I don't, as long as I don't put my foot on the ground. You see, I'm from Tiernanog, the land where they never grow old. Tiernanog? Now I know who you are. You're Usheen, the son of Finn McCool, and in the story you went to Tiernanog where people are always young. That's right. Oh. I am Usheen. How do you do? Oh. And who are you? Well, <clears throat> I'm Godmother, and that's O'Brien, and this is Judge, and this is Mr. Crow. and the squirrels are upstairs, and this is Wanderly Wagon. Oh, I'm delighted to meet you. You're the first people I've met since I set off from oh. Tiernanog on my trusty bicycle and ran over the land of Ern once more. Oh. Wait a minute. If you're Oshin, you must be the son of Finn McCool. Oh. <laughs> of course he is, O'Brien. Didn't Godmother just say so? Oh, well, then you're the very man we're looking for. Yes, you're the very one who can help us, if you will. You see, we want to know where yes, Finn... Yes, but first tell me where my father Finn is. Oh. You see, his great hall on the hill of Allen is in ruins and overgrown with weeds. When did you last see your father? Oh, Mr. Rushing, do you mean to say you don't know where he is either? Well, if you don't know, and he your own father, I don't know how we're ever going to find him. Oh, you're looking for him too? Yes. Then I have an idea. Let's all search for him together. You see, it can be very wearisome travelling alone, especially when you can't put your foot on the ground, not for one second. Mm. Oh, dear, I don't think I could ride a bike without touching the ground. Could you, Squirrel? But if you don't know the way, and we don't know the way, just where are we all going to go together? Oh, yes. That's a good question, Mr. Crow. Well, I think we should go to the Valley of the Thrushes. Where? The Valley of the Thrushes, where the great hunting horn of the Fien is. And when I blow on that, my father Finn and all his warriors will come to me, no matter where they are. Oh, now you're trashing. You, you go ahead and we'll follow in Wanderly Wagon. Yes. So be it. But don't follow too closely behind and don't make me wobble because if I fall off this bicycle, we're all banjaxed. Quick, O'Brien, get the wagon moving and we'll follow him. Now, inside, Judge. <laughs> of course. They'll all be banjaxed. I'll soon see he falls off his spike. Not for nothing am I special agent. Double O, sneaky snake. Ah! 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 Only figure six wagon. Talk, talk, talk. Why does my special agent not do something? Uh... Hello, hello. 
Send in Special Agent 00 Sneaky right away. Right away, I said. Ah, darn on Blitzen. Ah. What's this coffee? She is tasting different this morning, this black coffee. Mm-hmm. Ah! No wonder it was strange. It is my special new solution for generating wind for my wind-powered time trajectory missiles. <laughs> and I haven't even tested it. <laughs> and it is giving me hiccups. <laughs> oh, how I wish I could... I need a drink of... <laughs> Oh, how I wish I could... Oh, yippee! Yippee! Good news, master! How many times do I have to tell you are, you are a snake in the grass and not a jack in the box? You are giving me a terrible shock. I will have your skin for this. I will turn your skin into a snakeskin school bag. I will turn your tail into a snakeskin pencil case. I'm going to catch you. Oh, no, master, please. Spare my skin, I beseech you. I promise never to scare you again. I shall be your own little humble, little sneaky servant. I shall be as good as gold. But I don't want you to be good. I want you to be evil. I want you to be pure rotten. Oh, then I shall be as evil as a serpent master. But hold, I have splendid news. Come a little closer, master, and I'll whisper in your ear. Soon my search for Finn will be over. I have got someone who will lead me straight to him. Finn's own son. Yeah, so I'm seeing on my electrostatic washing machine. But these wonderlies, why have you not liquidated them now that you no longer need them to guide you? They will disappear without trace, Master. I promise you, this very day, I have a scheme that is certain of success. You'll see. Yeah, but this, uh, Arshin, how are you going to deal with him? But that's easy, Master. He has only to fall off his bicycle. When he falls off, he becomes an old man. I'll fix that the second he has served his purpose. (laughs) As soon as he has led us to his father, he'll become a weak and harmless old man. Yeah, yeah, sir. But this time, less talk and more action. Remember, snakeskin school bags are selling like hotcakes. Yes, master. Special Agent Double, no sneaky snake, will serve you well and speedily. You'll see. Just watch me. Uh, And uh, no shocks. No shocks, remember. (laughs) Now to make a little more of my new solution for generating wind for my wind part time trajectory. But my hiccups, they are gone. Ever since this sneaky snake is frightening me, my hiccups, they are gone. (laughs) I have made a wonderful discovery, a wonderful discovery. <laughs> Hiccups can be cured by a shock. <laughs> I must publish a book about this right away. <laughs> Nine, two books. Now there's my electric biro. You can find nothing in this kaput laboratory. It is all so I can what the fuck is Oh, my biro. Ah. What's up? Why is the wagon stopped? And there's no one on the driver's seat. No horse. Has something gone wrong? Maybe this is my chance to see they disappear. Oh, no. Someone's coming. Quiet. Don't say you saw me. Godmother. Oh, why have you stopped? Oh, oh, oh. give me a hand. Give me a hand. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Oh, thank thank you. Thank you. I felt old age stare him in the face. But why have you stopped? Oh, tea time, of course. It's long past our tea. But the Valley of the Thrushes is still two days' journeying on this road. But surely you don't expect us to do without our tea for two days. Well, I'm not going to hang on here while you have your tea. I could put the food into your mouth, like I'd feed baby birds in their nest. I could find you some very nice worms. Yeah. (laughs) Um... To stop him coming in and having his tea with the rest of us. But, Godmother, you know I can't put my foot on the ground. Ah, yes. But there is nothing that says you can't put your foot on the steps of Wanderley Wagon, is there? 
No, not exactly. Well, then. Godmother, you are clever. Yeah. All Oshin has to do is cycle around the back there, put his foot on the on the steps and get into the wagon, right. and we can all have our tea. Come on, Oshin. Oh, I'm starving yeah, with the hunger. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong now? Well, I'm just not so sure. It's not a thing I'd want to take a chance on. What exactly were you told? Yeah. I was told that this trusty white bicycle of mine would take me safely across the seas from Tiernanog. But that if I put my foot on the ground, this bike would disappear back to Tiernanog and I would become an old, old man. But I don't think the stepping on the ground would be the same as stepping on Wanderly Wagon. Do you, Mr Crow? Oh, he would be no more touching the ground than I would if I flew into a tree. Oh, that's all very well, but suppose you're all wrong. Uh, are you afraid? Afraid? Oshin, the son of Finn McCool, afraid? <laughs> cowardy, cowardy custard, stick your head in mustard. Cowardy custard? Who's cow? I'll show you, Mr. Crow. Hold on there. Uh, uh, hooray! hooray! He did it! He did it! Hooray! 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 That was easy. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and he doesn't look a minute older. <laughs> oh, dear. Time for tea, everybody! <laughs> Aha! This is my chance. Now I know it's only two days travelling on this road to the Valley of the Thrush. I don't need to spare Rashin any longer. Let me see. Yes. I'll puncture his tyres and let all the sawdust out. When he comes out, he won't notice they're flat. And as soon as he climbs on it and starts to ride, he'll have to put his foot to the ground. Then he's lost. And then I'll soon see to it that these wanderlies disappear. <laughs> now, where is my pin? Here it is. Ah, lovely history. Sing sawdust music, just like little old Sneaky makes. Such nice sawdust music. <laughs> oh, Godmother, that's the best meal I ever ate. My first on Irish soil. <laughs> <laughs> Without touching it, of course. <laughs> how, how do you feel now? I feel so good, I could sing. Then, why don't you... Oh, yes. Do sing us a song, Oshin. Sing us one about yourself. O'Brien and join in. Watch you, O'Brien. <laughs> right, this is my own special song. Oh, good. I'm Oshin from Tiernanog, and I never grow old. I've never had a cold, and it's years since I've sneezed. And I never get sick after eating green cheese. And I never get pains at the backs of me knees. I'm Oshin from Tiernanog, and I never grow old. I'm mushing from Tiern and Nog, and I never grow old. I'll always be able to jump and to race. I'll always be able to cartwheel all over the place. <laughs> but I keep my woolly vest on just in case. I'm mushing from Tiern and Nog. And I never grow old. He's hushing from Chirn and Oak, and he never grows old. He does ballet and go go and all different styles. He told me himself he does two minute mile. <laughs> and he's good at karate and breaks tons of tiles. I'm mushing from Tiern and Oak, and I never grow old. <laughs> oh, oh, good on you! Oh, oh wow. that was great! Marvellous, he handled it just like a crow. <laughs> oh, I think I'd always like to be a pup. And I'd like to be always as young and as beautiful as I am now. Right, I think we'd better be moving now. Oh, I thought we'd stop here for the night. Oh, no. We won't reach the Valley of the Thrushes in two days if we stop here. But you don't expect us to travel all night, surely? Not, not now when you can come into the wagon. Look, you can have Judge's bunk and Judge can share my bunk with me. Can't you, Judge? Of course, O'Brien. It won't be the first time. Then that's settled. We'll no. stay here. We must keep going on our journey. Oh, well, very well. So long as you get the washing up done first, come as Godmother always says. Come on, give me a hand, everybody. Do you know something? Those wheels have all gone tin, haven't they, Squirrel? Oh, yes. The air in them all went whoosh. What? 
are you two talking about, you crazy pair of nutcrackers? I think they're talking about Oshin's bike, Mr. Crow. Oshin's bike? Excuse me. Oh, I can't see anything. It's too dark. Oh, Brian, run out and see if everything's all right. Oh, I'm always asked to do everything. All right, oh, Mother. How could anything have happened? We've been around all the time. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh. Uh, both wheels have been punctured. Oh, rubbish. Oh, my Unless he oh. rode over broken glass or nails or something. Oh, it doesn't look like that to me, no. But wait a minute. What? It'll be all right. I have my magic bicycle outfit. Ah. Everything will be all right. Oh, oh good man, O'Brien. Ah, you blundering fool! I'll turn you into a snake skin school bag and squashed snake biscuits. A simple little thing like knocking a man off his bicycle and he has to blow it. Ah, I am dancing middle age. Ah, oh, 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 that stupid sneaky snake is putting me into such a rage that I can think of nothing. Oh, and my head it is aching for. I must have one of my encrusted powders. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's better. Now, one thing I know. I'm giving this sneaky snake one more chance. And if he doesn't deliver the goods, I'm going to see to it myself. And when I do something, I do it properly. I'm in blue and encrusted powders all over the <laughs> There'll be no mistake this time. I've dug a hole so deep it looks bottomless. It's less than 70 yards in front of the wagon, and it's right across the track, so they can't miss it. Now, to make sure they don't see it, I'll cover it up with twigs and leaves. And when they come to it, they will all tumble in, and that's the end of Wanderly Wagon. <laughs> and if Ashim doesn't slip in as well, he'll fall off his spike with surprise at the splash. That way they'll all disappear, and Astro will be so pleased with me, he'll never never say anything about snake skin bags again as long as he lives. Isn't that a super scheme? Now Astro will see that Special Agent 00 Sneaky Snake is really the greatest. Ha! Boo! Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Wake up, O'Brien. I thought I heard a noise. Oh, Brian! Oh, give me another ten minutes, Godmother, please. It's not Godmother, O'Brien. It's me. Oh, Judge, will you stop pushing? Will you please? Oh, I don't know why I, I agreed to share me bunk with you. Now you've woken me up. I meant to, O'Brien. I think I heard someone snooping around outside. Oh. Maybe someone's at O'Shane's bike again. <laughs> Well, I didn't hear anything. Why don't you go and look? Oh, I was scared, O'Brien. Supposing it was the, the great Astro out there. He might turn me into a frog or, or, or a cat or, or maybe into a ghost. You go and look. What could I do if there was somebody there? Where could she? He'd know what to do. Why don't you wake him yourself? I don't like to. What's wrong, O'Brien? Are you scared too? M m me scared? Of, of, of course I'm not scared. I, I'll show you. Scared? Oh, machine. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's nothing there. I don't see how you can be sure you hardly looked. Well, the, the, the bike is all right. It's like Oshin left it. And the, the wheels are all right and the, 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 the tires are all right. Will you go to sleep, Judge? 
You're afraid of Brian. You're a real coward. And you know something? So am I. <laughs> O'Brien. Right, Godmother. Just waiting on Oshin. All right. What's wrong, Oshin? Oshin, you look awful. He looks as if he's seen a ghost. I think there's something wrong. But what could be wrong? I should know this road, yet it seems I don't. Well, you've been away a very long time. It's only been three years. Three years? Do you mean to say you still don't know... <gasps> don't know what, Godmother? Oh, nothing. I, I, I'll talk to you another time. What's the hold-up? It's all right, O'Brien. He's just coming. Right, then he can catch up on me. Hike there, party. Go on, go on. <laughs> Here they come. Here comes the wagon. The end of slimy wandery wagon. No! Stop! Whoa there, Project! Whoa! Oh. What's wrong? I remember now, we should have taken the turn left about ten minutes back the road. Turn the wagon round, O'Brien. Oh. Turn the wagon, O'Brien! Turn the wagon, O'Brien! Turn the wagon? They can't turn the wagon. Nine. Turn the wagon, O'Brien. All right, round you go. Hike there, buddy. Go on, go on. Go on. Great slithering sea serpents. Foiled again! But just let those wanderlies wait. I've another trick up my sleeve, and this time nothing can misfire. They'll see they haven't heard the last of double O sneaky snake. Boo! Hiss! Boo! Hiss! 